Hey people, welcome to The Run Test. It's Kieran here and I'm back hugging another running pack. This is the Om Ultra 20. It's a 20 litre training and racing backpack from Om. And in this review, I'm gonna tell you how I got on with it. Is it any good? Is it worth the money? Should you buy it? All of those things, watch on. The Ultra 20 is part of OMS Ultra Series packs that are built for training and racing. Its 20 litre capacity carries larger loads between 5 and 12 kilograms and that makes it equally adept on long days on the trail or multi-day racing or even for commuter hops into work. The combination of an EVA padded shoulder harness, cushioned waist straps, full length removable back padding and vertically adjustable chest straps lock it firm for good comfort even when it's full. The main compartment happily takes a 15 inch laptop or a 2 litre bladder along with a towel and a change of clothes and there's a large zippered top compartment and one zippered waist belt pocket, one open stretch mesh waist belt pocket too that all beef up the storage. You also get an angled side bottle pocket that can take a 500 milliliter hard bottle. If you plan to use a bladder with this pack you can route the hose over or under the shoulder and strap it to either side though a bladder isn't included in the price. You get big rubber zip pulls that make it easy to use with cold fingers and gloves and there's a universal gear rail for adding on accessories and securing extras to beef up kit. You also get a whistle on the chest strap and a key clip in the top pocket. If you want something a bit more minimal, the other packs in this series, there's a 15 litre and an 8 litre that have roughly the same features and the same kind of design. Price wise, the OM Ultra 20 is going to set you back £75 in the UK. It weighs 375 grams. It has a 20 litre capacity. It's not compatible with soft flasks. There's nowhere to hold those on the front kind of harness. It is bladder friendly, but that's not included. And it does have some rain protection. Onto the run test then, and I've put this pack through a similar set of tests that I did with the Montane Gecko VP20 Plus. You can see the review on the channel for that one. Uh, basically did some longer runs, like some runs where I went for sort of three hours, along with some other sort of shorter hour runs. In each case, I've been putting, you know, anywhere between kind of four and eight kilos worth of weight into this pack. I've also packed it full of the kind of kit that I would take on a regular kind of commuter run, so 15 inch laptop, pair of trousers, towel, all of those kind of things, just to test how the pack copes across a range of different types of run. Now, my overall feeling straight off the bat with this is that I really like it. It's got a great kind of build quality. That's the first thing from when you pick it up, you can feel this is built kind of with good kind of solid durability in mind. It feels a little bit more like a regular kind of rucksack style than an ultra vest. And if I were going on a sort of single day ultra, I'm not sure that I would be taking this unless I knew I was going to be out in the field for sort of quite some time, maybe sort of up to 24 hours. This one feels to me more built for sort of multi stage or for those days where you're going to be going out and doing runs where you need to carry a lot more kit. Now, the one thing you get with this, there's a lot of kind of luxe feeling kind of padding that there's a, there's a big sort of thick EVA back pad in here that keeps all of the gear off your back. I didn't have any problems with sort of bits jutting in. I've often ran with sort of two sort of two litre bottles in there. They can often dig if you haven't got any protection, but this, this, EVA pad did a great job at, at sort of holding that. You can lighten the load if you want and take that back pad out. The other thing is, you know, in an MDS kind of style, you know, some people might use that back pad as a kind of half sleeping mat or to put their head on or other things. So it's got that double use there too. The other thing is on the, on the top here, the chassis, the shoulder straps, nice and wide, nice and padding. And it kind of meant sort of good, I get good strapped in lockdown weight. And there was no cutting from the, from the shoulder straps at all whatsoever. I also really like the fact that you've got some I like my, I like these kind of clips on my on my packs. They hold firm. They're nice. You've got big thick straps for tightening. You know the chest strap holds really nice and well. It's easy to adjust to get a tight fit, and also that that lower strap as well that's around the kind of waist belt does a good job of holding the pack securely too. Onto the pockets a little bit. Got one really useful, easy, nice big kind of zippered sort of side pocket that comes around the front. As well so when you're running you've got easy access to stuff you know head torch gels all those kind of things there there where you can reach them nice and easily you know often with this one i might pop my phone in there to keep it nice and safe and it was easy to, to get out as well the zips nice big zip pulls which i really like on these you know i suffer a bit from kind of rain on so my fingers die if they get cold you know you can hit them with a hammer so i find it quite fiddly and small zips are my enemy these are great easy to pull easy to get open easy to shut again on this side you've got on this side here you've got one big stretch mesh pocket that's good for stuffing in things like a jacket or socks extra clothes that you might want to put in there 
if you're going to put a lot of stuff in there you can put in sort of big packs of, of running fuel so what I would tend to do here with this pocket I wouldn't put single gels in because I have a feeling like they'll fall out but I might use a freezer bag or something else where I've got a collection of my nutrition and stuff that in and it will hold it all sort of fairly well to secure it, it's nice and deep you know you can fit a lot of gear in here so maybe it's a combination of those two things as well the main compartment is nice and big you know as I said you can fit a 15 inch laptop in here in a, in a slimline case along with most of your other kit that you'll need for commuting towel change of clothes those kind of things a bit like the Montane it does sort of barrel out which is great so you've got Good depth as well as kind of good width on the capacity. Around the back here as well, you've got one other, you've got on this side, you've got one angled hard sort of water bottle pocket. It's at an angle so you can easily kind of reach down. So, you know, the only thing I will say is that you don't have anything on the shoulder harnesses, so you can't have a soft flask. So again, for racing, you're going to be relying on kind of a hard bottle more than likely and pulling that out from around the back. And you're going to carry maybe one kind of 500 mil in there you might be able to fit a slightly bigger kind of plastic bottle if you had like a 700 mil perhaps alternatively this pocket also doubles as a great kind of stash place for extra nutrition or other bits and pieces spare socks those kind of things up top you've got a pretty big sort of top zippered compartment that comes with a built-in key hook that's great for clipping in headphones and other bits and pieces that you don't want to lose I often kind of clip in a head torch or something. Those things that if I really need them to be there, when I really need them to be there, I use that clip. The other thing, you've got the built-in whistle obligatory item on plenty of races built into the chest strap. I love that. Some of the, the built-in whistles that you get hanging, this happens on a lot of the Salomon bags. For me, they sort of, they sort of flap around them, constantly find that I'm tucking them away. And over 18 hours of running, that gets very annoying. This is built in nice and rigid, nice and firm. It's always there. You know you're going to be able to rely on it the other thing that you also have here on the front harnesses there are a couple of um a couple of straps here you can secure trekking poles with nice and easily i should say also the chest strap is height adjustable as well it's got one of these kind of sliding height adjusters so you can slide it up and down now one thing i found with some packs where you're carrying a bit more weight and you pull that strap tight is that these this kind of um connector can can pop off and once it's popped off it can be really hard to get it back on if you're going somewhere into a multi-stage race that happens to you you're in trouble these i have to say feel really really nice and secure they don't look like they're going anywhere actually they look much firmer held than, than other bags that i've used in the past but that's been a problem i guess the other thing we mentioned in the beginning yes you can use a bladder with it there's plenty of room in the back and you can route your bladder hose either up and over the shoulder or out and then up so you can go over the top or under and you can also handily kind of connect it on both sides so whichever you you prefer you've got a bit of versatility there too which is nice om has also thought about how you might want to flex this pack and use it potentially for different kinds of races so maybe you want to beef up the storage add on extra accessories and they've, they've got lots of different points here clips and this universal gear rail where you can attach poppers loops you can basically beef up and attach other kit as you as you please here. That's really quite a nice touch. There's lots of extra little bits. There's also some hooks here. You can get some covers that will make this a little bit more kind of waterproof. Um, but overall, I think, you know, mainly when I've been running with it, it takes good weight. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. There's not an awful lot of bounce. These shoulder straps hold it nice and tightly in place. You can get a good secure fit across the chest to hold that weight comfortably without... You know, the worst thing is when you have to feel to do it so tight that you've sort of struggled to breathe and expand your chest. You know, I did it tight enough, but could still breathe fairly freely with this. So that's all good. I, I really love this pack. I think, you know, as a commuter pack and then a pack that you might take out onto the trails, I think it's a really, really win winning kind of solution. It's so robust. It feels like it's going to be really durable. I you know, I've run quite a lot in it and it doesn't look like it's been touched. Um, yeah, I think this is a really, really solid pack for £75 as well. You're getting excellent value for money here with the Om Ultra 20. So a quick verdict then, I've kind of sort of said what I think about this already, but just to summarise, I think at £75, this pack is brilliant value. It's durable, there's plenty of capacity. I think it's got kind of a good level of versatility, although it's going to be for sort of longer adventures for me, I think or days where you're going to have to take a lot of kit and training. 
perfect kind of pack if you're going out for a day long run with some mates on the trails and you want to have a change of clothes when you end up in the pub or having some food somewhere. Again, great commuter pack as well because of that, you know, you can get to work and back with it nice and padded, nice and comfortable. It feels sort of like a luxe pack to me. I was I really, really enjoyed it. There's not much that I didn't like about this pack at all. In fact, maybe the only thing that is a little bit lacking for me is having the soft loss up front, which is something that I like. You know, they've thought about details like there's a handle on the top as well, so you can hold it. When you go into aid stations or you're looking to get some kit out, you can hold it or hang it somewhere. You know, it's, it's just a very, very well thought out piece of kit from people who tend to approach their design with, you know, a lot of thought and care and attention. And for £75, I think this is well worth a look if you're looking for a running pack that can do quite a lot. So there you have it, that's my verdict of the OM Ultra 20 litre. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this pack or any other packs that you want us to test out, hit us up in the comments below. If you've used this and you found it's come up short somewhere or there are things that you also really love, share it in the comments below. It's always useful for the other viewers to see how other people have got on with these packs. We're gonna be doing a bunch more pack reviews. I'm out kind of testing at the moment, heavily trying to find my ultimate running pack. Um, so make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell so you'll find out when those other videos come up on the channel. It's been a pleasure talking to you as ever and I hope to see you again soon on the Run Testers.